So hello people, hope you're well. My name is Altana. Welcome to Nyauma Insights where I give you technology tips, business tips and inspiration. So today the video I want to share with you is a video about email integration with Outlook. Maybe you're running your own company or you're working with a company and you want to know how to integrate your business email the one that comes with your domain for example if your domain is elkana.com your email could be something like info at elkana.com or sales at elkana.com but you want to integrate that with outlook or your gmail but today i'm teaching you how to integrate with outlook so you can enjoy the application on your desktop you can as well do uh, do that for do that for your mobile rather on your mobile so you can use your business email from the comfort of your mobile phone so let's get into it I'm assuming you already have a domain for example elkana.com and you've also secured a hosting a hosting is where you upload your files for example if you have a domain like elkana.com and you want to create a website for your company or your brand you will create your website in the hosting yeah so i'm assuming you have uh, your own uh, domain for example i have mine and mine is webdesigntools.xyz i'm going to show you in a minute and then um, i have the hosting so i can log into the c panel or the control panel c panel control panel yeah and create the email and then integrate the email with outlook so let's do this so first things first so we go to our c panel this is the c panel if you want me to create a video by the way i'll create a video about how to log into the c panel or how to buy a domain name and stuff like that but for today i just want to go straight to the point and uh, i'm also assuming that you have your outlook you've downloaded your outlook how you get your outlook uh, to download to your computer you go to microsoft uh, Microsoft's website that is apps.microsoft.com and uh, Microsoft Store that's where you go and you search for Outlook as you can see it's here and then you click on download when you download you install that I will do a video about downloading and installing Outlook in your computer but for today we want to go straight to the point I have my out Outlook here and I have my cPanel right here so let's create that email for example info at webdesigntools.com so I'm gonna click on create and then I'm gonna do info well, let me say nyauma because it's nyauma insights let me do nyauma nyauma at webdesigntools.xyz my password is going to be something like this very simple password and this is the same password we're going to use on outlook so we need to remember it that's why i've saved it on my notepad in my notepad and then after writing the email as you want it the password and then we're going to choose edit settings here and choose 30 gigabytes i have set up a limit of 30 gig gigabytes for the emails and for now at least yeah so when you click on that and then you can say create that is how simple you create your email on your cPanel. So we're going to take this email and open Outlook because the moment you open Outlook, it will request you to add the email that you want to integrate. Yeah, let me close this. Let me come here and say Outlook. My Outlook doesn't have my outlook app doesn't doesn't have any email integrated so i have to put that email that i've created yeah so i'm gonna come here and say paste i'm pasting that nyauma at web design tool the email we just created and then i'm gonna say continue so it's signing me into the new outlook for windows and then the password let me show more fast yeah remember on show more you have 
to put the details for the emails on the on the C panel. Yeah, so we are going to log into this email. How you log into the email is you say domain which is uh, web design tools dot xyz to log into the cpanel it's domain web design tools dot xyz stroke cpanel and but now i'm not going to the cpanel i'm going to the email i'll say webmail yeah logging into your to your business email the one that comes with your domain is a domain for example elkana.com stroke webmail in this case it's web design tools dot xyz stroke webmail so if I click or I press enter it will give me an option to enter the new email plus the password yeah that's the password for now at least for now yeah you see it's logged in and then the first email we're going to get when we create our when we create our email is the email uh, about the mail client manual settings these are the settings that we're going to use to integrate this business email to our outlook yeah the reason why we are integrating is because we want ease of access so that we can use that on our mobile phones or our desktops instead of going to domain stroke webmail password and all that we just click on outlook and your email is right uh, right there set and ready to work and you can also integrate many emails yeah on outlook that's the power of outlook as it is right now as it is here we will finish uh, integrating this and we can also create another email and integrate it so you have all your emails under one one platform which is outlook we have our outlook here and our email here so i'm going to my email to get the the details so for incoming server it means emails that are sent to you outgoing are the emails that you're sending so with incoming server pop3 we're using pop3 here pop3 port is 995 so i'm going to copy that this is IMAP. It's telling me IMAP. I'm going to click on select provider and go to POP. I'm not using IMAP. I'm using POP. So I'm going to come here and take this uh, password, the password that we used to create that email. Then I'm going to click on show more. And uh, POP incoming server is mail. Incoming server is mail dot web design tools dot xyz and the port is 995 the port is 995 yes and there pop incoming server is that one it's already detected that and then smtp username smtp username username is the the email always remember that yeah even even if we were talking about incoming server outgoing server the username is the email then the password is the one that we we entered when we were creating the email on the cpanel now this is outlook yeah so we have our pop incoming server 995 and then the smtp configuration username is that the password is the one that we created copy paste the password there SMTP outgoing server is 465 yes so the th the things are, are well set you just confirm pop incoming server is 995 yes pop outgoing server is 465 yes then you say continue and then you say sync your pop account yes sync just means sync it with the uh, outlook yeah from webmail to outlook when you're using that email on the web without using an application like uh, like outlook or or gmail you are using webmail where you can use software like roundcube and and those but now 
you can integrate those emails with Gmail and many of them under one platform. Imagine, and then you say continue. So we are setting things up now. Looks like we are cooking with gas. Yeah, let's go. Don't send. No, don't send optional data. Powering your experiences, continue. Add all your accounts. You can add more emails if you have. So I'm gonna say not interested on the tour. And you can see our email is already integrated. Imagine. I can just come here, new email, and say I'm sending an email to and then I'll say uh, testing the email and I'll say hello Nyoma hope you are doing well just testing uh, whether, whether the email is working properly regards uh, and then I'm gonna say send the email very fast send the email so if I come to the recipient email the email should be here in a minute. Yeah, it's here. Imagine, that is it. And now we have the email on, a, on our email. So that's how you integrate your business email or the domain email with Outlook. Let me know what you think about that. And uh, if you can do that, and whether you're finding challenges doing it or whether you need consultancy on you know, buying your domain and setting up the hosting, choosing the right hosting, choosing the most you know, secure hosting companies or the best hosting companies. If you want help with that, that kind of consultancy, please hit me up on the comment section and I will be happy to help you out. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching this video. It's a long video and I know, but thank you for supporting me and for watching my videos. I love you guys and all the best. Adios. Adios. Bye-bye.